for the beam shown below with constant EI by double integration method, determine the magnitude of B so that letter A, the tangent at B is horizontal, and letter B, the reflection at C is zero. So here is the given figure. First, let's solve for the reactions, AY and RB. AX is zero, definitely not shown, but it's zero. So moment B zero equals AY times 5.4 plus P times 1.8 minus one half of 5.4 times 30. One third of 5.4 is 1.8. So simplifying and solving for EY in terms of P, EY is equal to 27 minus P over 3. Likewise, moment A0, so let's now have a sectioning, call that X, origin at A. Now we can have up to here as section, but it will be complicated because we're going to extend this triangular loading and we add a counteracting loading, so it will be a lengthy equation. Instead, we plan to separate the differential equations for portion AB and for portion BC. So we will call this intensity W. So W as to X equals 30 as to 5.4. Therefore, W is equal to 50 over 9 of X. So that the differential equation for this portion is EI Y double prime AB or is equal to quantity 27 minus P over 3 times X minus 1 half of X times 50 over 9 X times X over 3 for the moment arm. Simplifying EI Y double prime AB is quantity 27 minus p over 3x minus 25 over 27x cubed. Then integrate EIY prime AB is quantity 27 minus p over 3x squared over 2. That's it. Then minus 25x to the fourth over 108 plus 0. A plus is sub one other. There is slope at A. But there is no C sub 2 because when x is 0, y at a is 0. Integrate again. Eiy ab is equal to 20, quantity 27 minus p over 3 x cubed over 6 minus 5 x to the fifth over 108 x to the fifth plus C sub 1 x. Again, there is no C sub 2 because when x is 0, y is 0. Then, boundary conditions, x is 5.4, y is 0. And for the given condition, when x is 5.4, the tangent is horizontal, so meaning to say slope is 0 or y prime ab is 0 when x is 5.4. So we begin with uh, y prime 0 at b. For this condition, substitute here. So 0 equals 27 minus p over 3 over 2, 5.4 square minus 25 over 108, 108 5.4 to the fourth plus c sub 1. So c sub 1 is 25 over 108 times 5.4 to the fourth minus this value times 27 minus p over 3. So that would be. Uh, 196.83 minus 14.58 of quantity 27 minus p over 3. Take note that C sub 1, which is equal to this equation 1, is established for the condition in the problem that tangent at B is horizontal, not the slope, that not the deflection at B is 0. So the deflection at B is always 0 because this is a support. So for the second, for the condition deflection at B0 into this equation, so 27 minus P over 3, 5.4 cube over 6 minus 5 over 108, 5.4 to the fifth plus C sub 1 times 5.4. So this value, 5.4 to the fifth over 108 divided by 5.4 is, so C sub 1 is 
equal to 5 over 108 times 5.4 to the fifth over 5.4, that's 39.366. Then 5.4 cube over 6 divided by 5.4 is then transpose negative 4.86 quantity 27 minus p over 3 equation 2. So this is the value of c sub 1 regardless of this condition in the problem. So this is always the value of c sub 1 because we establish this when x is 5.4, the deflection at b is always 0. It is only in equation 1 where we have this condition that tangent at b is horizontal. Without that condition, the tangent at b is always has a value, not horizontal, only for this situation. So equating equations 1 and 2, 196.83 minus 14.58 quantity 27 minus p over 3 equals 39.366 minus 4.86 quantity 27 minus p over 3. So 196.83 minus 39.366, then 14.58 minus 4.86 of 27 minus p over 3. So 157.464 equals 9.72 of 27 minus p over 3. So 157.464 over 9.72, then make it negative plus 27, then the answer multiplied by 3. That's the value of P. So P is 32.4 kilonewtons. Then we proceed to the second condition that the deflection at C is 0. So for the first condition, for the tangent at B to horizontal, P is 32.4. Then for the second condition, the deflection at C is 0. So we will establish differential equation of the elastic curve for portion BC. By not extending it, by not considering one sectioning only, but rather we have to establish EI Y double prime BC. So if this is X from the origin, then this distance is 5.4 plus 1.8 is 7.2 minus X. Since if you consider from the right, counterclockwise moment is positive, so clockwise is negative. So therefore, EI, Y double prime BC, is negative B times quantity 7.2X. Integrate EI, Y prime BC is equal to positive because this is 7.2 minus X, so the integral is negative, 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 so it becomes positive. B over 2, 7.2 quantity 7.2 minus x squared plus c sub 3. There is also c sub 4 because the origin is here. That, that's the right part. Integrate again. So EIY BC is equal to P over 6 quantity 7.2 negative. Interchange. So negative. The integral is negative because this is 7.2 minus x. The coefficient of x is negative 1, not positive. 7.2 minus x cubed, so negative p over 6, 7.2 minus x cubed plus c sub 3x plus c sub 4. So we can evaluate c sub 3 and c sub 4 because there are two conditions. One, for the fixed condition that deflection at b is 0 when x is 5.4 and Deflection at C is 0 for this condition in the problem. So 0 equals negative B over 6 times quantity 7.2 minus 5.4 at B cubed plus C sub 3 times 5.4 plus C sub 4. So 5.4 C sub 3 plus C sub 4 equals 0.972P. Call that equation 3. Then X is 7.2 yc is 0, the condition in the problem. So the first term would be 0, then c sub 3 times 7.2 plus c sub 4. c sub 3 times 7.2 plus c sub 4. So that means because this is 0, c sub 4 is negative 7.2 of c sub 3. Substitute in equation 3 
5.4 C sub 3 plus negative 7.2 C sub 3 equals 0.972. So from here, we can solve C sub 3 negative of 0.54 of P. Then C sub 4 is negative 7.2 of quantity negative 0.54 P. So C sub 4 is 3.888 P. Then, uh, slope at B is common for A, B, and for B, C. So that's the third equation that we should establish. So we use this, X is 5.4, and equate it with this equation when X is 5.4. C sub 3 is already known. But the value of C sub 1 here that will be used is the value of C sub 1 when deflection at B is 0, not by the deflection at B is horizontal because it, it was in part A. This is already part B. In part B, it is the deflection at C that is 0. The slope at B is no longer horizontal for part C, uh, for part B. So again, the value of C sub 1 is this value here. Because this value of C sub 1 was established when the deflection at B is 0 from this equation here, which is this. So x is 5.4. So 27 minus P over 3 over 2 times 5.4 square minus 25 over 108 times 5.4 to the fourth plus C sub 1, which is 39. 366 minus 4.86 quantity 27 minus p over 3 then equals here p over 2 times 7.2 minus 5.4 so 1.8 square plus c sub 3 negative 0.54 p so combining the constants and the term with 27 minus p over 3 from the left side of the equation so 9.7227 27 minus p over 3 and the constant negative 25 over 108 times 5.4 to the fourth then plus 39.366 that's negative 154.464 and the right side 1.62p minus 0.54p so simplifying further 104.976 minus 3.24p combine the constants and simplify 9.72 times negative p over 3, that's negative 3.24p. And the right side, 1.62 minus 0.54p is 1.08p. Therefore, p is 104.976 divided by quantity 3.24 plus 1.08. So from here, we can now solve for p. p is equal to 32.4 kilonewtons. No, 23.4. 23.24.3 kilonewtons so 24.3 kilonewtons that's it